hello guys this is question 4.10 and its statement is two tire quality experts examine stacks of tires and assign a quality rating to each tire on a three point scale let x denote the rating given by expert a and y denote the rating given by expert b okay the following table gives the joint distribution for x and y and on the basis of distribution what do we have to find out we have to find out mu of x and mu of y which i forgot to write here okay so this was question 4.10 and on the basis of it we have to find these quantities okay so let me solve it here and in solving it what do we have to find out here in order to find mu of x i have to write the values of x and multiply it with all the values of g of x okay so let me first write and find the values of g of x and what are the values of g of x if for one i have to find the value of g of x it will be all these values added together and when i will add them 0 0.10 0 0.05 0 0.02 here i will get 0 0.17 okay this is for the value of x equal to 1 the value of g of x will be 0 0.17 so let me write it here here it will be for one i will have 0 0.17 and it is added by adding all the values together for which the value of x is one okay so you have got my point after it i have to find out for the value x equal to two and for it we can see that these are all the values here so 0 0.10 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.05 so here it will be two multiplied by these values added together and you will get here 0 0.5 and here these two must be added together okay similarly plus here and here i have to see for the value of x equal to 3 and for the value x equal to 3 i have to add all the values uh, of the joint distribution where the value of x is 3 so 0 0.03 plus 0 0.10 plus 0 0.20 so it would be 3 which is the value of x multiplied by the value of g of x for x equal to 3 so it would be 0 0.33 okay so it would be mu of x by adding them together what i will get here i will get uh, this would be 0 0.17 plus 1 plus this would be 0. 99 nine. okay so ultimately here i will get 2.16 okay so that is what that is for mu of x and that is the answer for mu of x similarly on the basis of our data we also have to find mu of y okay and in order to find it out let me remove it first and here to find it out the formula of it would be what i have to add the values by multiplying the value of y with the h of y which is the marginal distribution of y okay so now to find the marginal distribution of y here let me remove these values here as well and here i can see very easily that for y equal to one these are the values so therefore i have to add them together so 0 0.10 0 0.10 0 0.03 0 so it would be what it would be 0. 2, 3 okay so let me write it here here the value of y is 1 so 1 multiplied by 0 0.23 okay similarly after it for the value of y equal to 2 i have 0 0.05 0 0.35 and 0 0.10 so it would be 0 0.5 okay so therefore here it would be 0 0.5 or let me first write the value of y which is 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 and the last one here is these values this is for y equal to 3 and 0 0.02 plus 0 0.07 plus 0 0.27 0 it would be 0 0.27 okay so the value of y which is 3 multiplied by 0 0.27 uh, okay so these are basically all the values which we have here so adding them together we will get what it would be mu of y and adding them together it would be 2.04 and that is what that is the solution 
for the value of mu of y here you have seen that what are the steps of solving these questions so first of all you have to find the marginal distribution for x okay marginal distribution marginal distribution for x and also the marginal distribution for y okay and then multiplying them with the values of the x and y and it will give you what it will give you the average value of any quantity of any variable given in the form of the joint distribution okay so that's it for today i hope you have understood the concept of these type of questions if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon